Good morning, y'all. This is Ned N to the E to the D over at MPD. 215 pounds of twisted steel and undeniable sex appeal. And this is Michelle. And collectively, we are My Philippine Dreams. Welcome once again live from Atong Kamali in Dumaguete, Negros Oriental, the Philippines. Welcome to Weekly Wrap Up. Today's wrap up is for January 30th, 30th yes. 2016. Keep forgetting it's 2016. First up, we're both sick. We're really, really sick. Yeah, it's not fun, but luckily it's not really bad. There's some bad virus that's going around that's putting people into bed for like a week. Uh, we just have the cough and the congestion and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's not much fun, but hey, it's part of living life here. And a lot of people are sick. Yes. So I'm not feeling too bad about it. Second up, the weather. The weather is beautiful. I love you, Amihan. Not so much Agabat. But Amihan with the trade winds is beautiful. Undeniably, the past week here has been absolutely gorgeous. The humidity has been low. It's just been really nice. This past Wednesday, Michelle was working. Yeah. So she wasn't able to go to Darwin with me. But I went down to Darwin. We got a ride from a friend. A bunch of us went down there. And afterwards, somebody got wet. So we had to swing by somebody's another another expat's house to get some dry clothes and his name was George and he cooked us dinner and it was fantastic and thank you George for dinner I was so jealous yes it was a beautiful day down in Darwin and I was working my ass off doing overtime and, and Michelle just, yes hmm. I know it's tough being a stay home <laughs> stay home husband stay home house husband also news unfortunate news the French national that was killed up in Palawan his wife was also murdered, as was their child. It was a brutal crime. And I guess there was some money involved, and too many people were aware that he had the money on him. Uh, condolences to him, RIP. And again, it seems like this is happening more and more often, which is unfortunate. But on the flip side, the Philippines, I think, is also getting more tourists and more people here. So it's going to happen more often. Recent videos we've done, we did the Rouser Top Box, where I went to Ceres Terminal to pick it up. One of the great things about living in the Philippines is if the, uh, people are on the same island, they can ship stuff to each other via the bus. Actually, even if they're on different islands, because sometimes the buses go on ferries. Yes. Uh, I got the, the box on the bike. I really like it. It's a lot more practical. It's not as pretty, but I'm all about go and not about too much show, in case you haven't noticed. World of Fun. We went to World of Fun. Yes. Michelle kicked my ass. At Crazy Hoops. At Crazy Hoops. But I destroyed her at ham Hammer of the Gods. Is that what it's called? Hammer, King of Hammers. King of Hammers. I was a beast. I got the high <laughs> score. So we're going to keep going back because we keep winning tickets. And if you win a lot of tickets, like a thousand, you get a teddy bear or something. All kinds of stuff. We also did dinner at Hotel Essencia. We had meant to go to Hotel Essencia for a while and we finally made it. Yes, and it was, finally. It was pretty good. I had some good uh, Korean food. Mm. It was yummy. Uh, it was a little expensive, more expensive than what we're used to paying. Uh, and finally, how is your work going? Busy, because two, uh, um, two other officers resigned, two of them. So in the first few days, I did overtime and I was, I'm sick. I'm, I'm still sick and I'm doing this overtime. I'm, I'm covering for them. I'm doing their work. So it's just crazy. <laughs> So, two other officers resigned, so you're basically holding the fort almost by yourself. Not now, because I got some help from two other officers from other branches. So. Oh, they sent in reinforcements. Yeah, they sent the reinforcements. In the first two days, it was just me. Yeah. All right. And I'm sick, so it just, I'm doing overtime. It's just crazy. But you're bringing home the bacon, baby. Oh, God. Somebody's got to make money in this relationship. Upcoming, um, I'm going to be doing some videos about sites around Dumaguete. I got some old B-roll that I got to put up. Uh, I also eventually have to do my two years in the Philippines video. Maybe manana, maybe bahalana. <laughs> maybe we'll wait till the three years in the Philippines <laughs> video. I also purchased a plane ticket. I'm going back to the United States. I'm leaving the Philippines. I am out of here. Had enough. So I should be heading back for about 30 days at some point to visit my family. And that'll be nice to see them. Although it's a 26 to 30 hour flight, but hey. Also, we got to figure out the marriage details of how, why, when, and where we're going to do this whole marriage ceremony. We were originally going to get married outside the country, but now we're finding out that the laws recently changed 
and it matters as to where you get registered. So we're going to be doing some uh, planning on that. We'll let you all know, keep you abreast of it. It's my first time getting married. So with me. What? So am I. It's my first time. It's Come also on. Michelle's <laughs> first time getting married. I think we got to do an investigation on that. So, uh, I mean, what can possibly go wrong? So that's about it. We also have a, uh, our friend Simon, we'll call him Simon, mm, a young yeah. German national, just recently got married. And congratulations to him and his beautiful wife, Delilah, who's a teacher. And we'll be doing a video on that pretty soon. So until next time, this is Ned. And this is Michelle. We are My Philippine Dreams. Take care. Bye.